between. What is she doing to that bear? Welcome back to the Spamless Game, where I'm playing every Super Nintendo game in order of release. And we got four games today. We have James Bond Jr., Home Alone 2, uh, TKO Super Championship Boxing, and Strike Gunner STG. And our first game today, James Bond, James Bond Jr., back of the box. The name is Bond, James Bond Jr. With a name like Bond, you know the intense action and daring adventure are here. Join, join James Bond Jr. in several missions Blah, 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 it's hard to read that, so we're just gonna go on and play the game. Okay. Please enter the password. To the Warfield Academy. You heard the news, James. An agent of scum has stolen priceless statue for one of the students here at Warfield. I don't care. I really don't care. Yeah, I kind of figured this is that kind of game. Floaty, loosey goosey control action platformer on the Super Nintendo based on a franchise. Where have I seen that before? Happened and now I'm in a helicopter. Even though there was a weird guy there, I have no idea. The game just decided, hey, play a different game. Even the game didn't want to play that other game that I was playing. James Bond! James Bond Jr. Oh, I hit a tree branch and died? That's a weak ass helicopter. Note to self. One hit, you're dead. Rewind! Okay, go, go down there. Shoot that thing, shoot that thing, and that thing. Avoid the branches. So they don't even do anything? Get the shield! Get the... Don't get the shield, then. Fine. Get the... I want the... the thing. Get the thing. Can't get the things. Hell, the guy just touched my helicopter and I died? Jackets. Okay. I got a thing finally. Yeah. And I'm not a one hit dead guy. Does this keep going forever? First area was so short. James Bond Jr. Yes, more of that. Jeez. Shouldn't have done that. So the spinning ball shields do nothing against the trees. So, 
James Bond is just a helicopter game. Brief interludes of weird platforming. But I have it now. Wait, I have both on mine? How the hell did I do that? Holy crap. I had a power the whole time I didn't know I had. Come on, come on. Things are happening! God, does this ever end? Alright. That's it. I can't take it anymore. It just goes like that forever, I think. Graphics, we're gonna give those a... 4. Sound, we'll give that a 4. Music was pretty cool, we'll give that an 8. Story, I have no idea. It's based on a cartoon and it's a tie-in game. Well, 3. Controls, yeah, the helicopter controls fine. The platformer not so much. Funness a two and a half doesn't hold my attention. A two, and overall we're gonna give it a five. Just run of the mill platformer with some decent, overly long shooting segments in it. Uh, let's see what's next. Our next game is Home Alone Two: Lost in New York. And yep, that's Home Alone checks out. Back in the box, Marv and Harry are back for revenge. Guess who's alone again? Only this time in the biggest metropolis of them all, New York City. Help Kevin McAllister in his newest comedy adventure. Marv and Harry bring reinforcements this time to nab the kid they sent him to jail. As Kevin, you'll collect assorted toys and items to blast your opponent's right to action into early retirement. This seems like a whole city is out for Kevin. Voracious vacuum cleaners and mean house detectives chase him through the posh hotel. Watch out for nasty gang members in Central Park and beware of holes in the floor of his uncle's townhouse. All in the while, looking out for dangerous reunion with the wet bandit gang. Now you can show them what just a kid can do. Yeah. Look at Tim Curry there. Wow. His name, Kevin McAllister. Five feet of trouble, blah, blah, blah. This is Harry. What? Yeah, the simp. Or Marv is still with me. Yeah, look, never mind about that. I'm calling the guys from the gang. Me and Marv need some help to why, blah, 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 blah. This game's not going to be good at all. Just a prediction. Well, that happens. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Why wouldn't there be suitcases just going nuts in a haunted hotel? Get the gun. What is she doing to that bear? Okay, lady. Okay, I've seen enough of that crap. Graphics, uh, graphics four, sound a two and a half, music, uh, was kind of irritating, three, story, one and a half, controls, a three, funness, a two, to hold my attention, a one, overall, it's going to get a three and a half, that was Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, it's about as good as you think it is. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is TKO uh, Super Championship Boxing. The box art looks like this. Um, looks like we are the Predator watching a boxing match in infrared. Cool. TKO Technical Knockout Super Championship Boxing. With the most advanced graphics ever created for boxing, the sweet science never been so real. Check out the action. 
You've won your first bout, but it was tough. Eight grueling rounds, and now your dog tired. So it's back to the gym to work on your stamina. Next bout, you're up against a guy who's really fast. He's not hurting you, but he's building up points with a pity patter combinations, and you're getting mad. Between rounds, your corner tells you how to get even. They've seen that he drops his left guard, so he's open for a right hook. Next round, bam, right hook, he's out of here. This is TKO Super Championship Boxing, non-stop smasher bashing, nothing crunching action, be the world champ and stuff and things. Suffer. Blah! Push button. Championship, of course. Enter your password. Oh. Um, I don't have a password? There we go. Enter your name. Ooh, that's a long input. Spaces? Okay. Yes. Puncher. Select your boxer. Who looks like Ass Puncher McGee? Oh, that guy. I think it's that guy. But let's see what else we got. Yeah. There we go. There's there's Ass Puncher McGee. Yeah. Not much of a puncher, but he's quick, so punch fast. See? Round one. That was a weak ass tink. They look so happy to be boxing. Kick him. I never liked these side angle boxing games. Punch, punch, kick, it's all mine. Oh, uppercut, uppercut, body blow, body blow. Ugh, controls awful, awful controls. Graphics, uh, four and a half sound, a uh, little tinky tink bell, um, bad digitized voice music, is three and a half story, it's boxing game controls, two and a half funness, uh, one, does it hold my attention? Nope, and overall it's going to get a three. That was TKO Super Championship Boxing, and uh, made by Safel. Let's see what's next. Our final game today is called Strike Gunner STG. Should probably get that looked at. And the back of the box says, In the last years of the 20th century, the nations of the world have united to dismantle their nuclear arsenal. Mm, they did not. But the dictator of Slovenia, a small rebel nation, still dreams of world domination. He has joined forces with a huge hostile war force from beyond the planet. The allied countries of Earth try to resist, but without nuclear weapons, their efforts are futile. Then, in an ironic twist, the alien forces turn against their ally and set up to complete the conquest and colonization of Earth. Now, with the survival of the human race at stake, the allied countries join forces with the rebel dictatorship in a last-ditch effort to drive out the invaders. After secret fortress deep in the Amazon jungle, the greatest scientists of Earth carefully analyze the alien weaponry and develop a weapon to end all weapons. Strike gunner. With time running out and a few resources remaining, only two can be built, but those two can combine at will into one superfighter of astonishing power. With an awesome arsenal offensive and defensive def devices at your command, and your own unmatched courage and skill as a fighter pilot, the Earth may yet be saved. Still don't know what STG stands for. AD 2008. Oh, I remember these events. That exploded good. Hmm. Here come the aliens. That's a big ship. Yep. 
things are happening with that epic, dramatic music playing. Earth is on fire. These must be the STG force. Oh, I see. STG Strike Gunner. That is the laziest acronym ever. Okay. Don't know what any of these do. So let's go with the Sonic Wave. Why can it be the big ship? Oh, goes through them like butter. Look at that. I think you can sneak around behind me, are you? The enemies are the same. Now they're not anymore. I think my first weapon better. Moving at the speed of a car. I don't know what that did, but it did something. Yeah, my first weapon's back. It's a shmuppy, shmup, shmuppy, shmup, shmup, shmup. Something different better happen soon or I'm gonna stop playing. Take that game, I'm gonna stop playing you. Yeah, you're boring me. Must not be a very good shmup if I'm doing this well at it. I mean, I guess I have lost two lives. Boss fight? Boss fight? Maybe? Maybe? No, one of those. Okay. Whatever. If I see one more of those stupid helicopter planes, I'm out of here. these guys. It's weird dancing sideways planes. We those guys. Those guys. These guys. Look at the environment of trees. All the variety in the background that you could ever want in a game. With three types of enemies. <gasps> the scenery's changing! There's a river that runs through it. Very exciting. And back to stupid helicopter guys. Okay. Seems very repetitive. Uh, graphics uh, backgrounds are dull and repetitive, and they, I don't know. I'm gonna give the graphics a four. Sound that was okay. We'll give that a four and a half. The music is good, but it's on a loop and it's a short loop, so it's repetitive. So that's gonna get a four. Story, uh, it's a little different spin on things. Three and a half, still just Alien Invaders. Controls, we'll give that a seven. Uh, funness, I'll give that a four. Does it hold my attention? A two. And overall, it's going to get a four. And that was Strike Gunner STG. Go see your doctor if you think you have Strike Gunner STG. And we will see you next game. Mm -hmm.